The Cully neighborhood is big and diverse, and the difficulties with crime here are real. But why? People are stealing because of addiction, poverty, houselessness, or other societal or really social problems. And we have thrown everything at law enforcement's feet and just said, fix it. Abby Stamp leads Multnomah County's Local Public Safety Coordinating Council. She says the Reimagining Justice program has two goals, to increase trust and legitimacy of police and to increase non-law enforcement responses to low-level crimes. The program will rely on ideas from the community. The solutions are always going to come from the people closest to the problems. And I think what we as government can do, not so much get out of the way, but more affirmatively support. So I think that's our role here. Multnomah County Commissioner Sushila Jayapal worked to get the Federal Bureau of Justice Assistance Grant and says Cully earned it coming its way. I absolutely think there's been a foundation laid here and that was one of the other reasons that we identified Cully as the place to start. There's been a foundation laid in terms of what the community did to develop this gorgeous affordable housing complex right, right behind you in front of me. It used to be the Sugar Shack. It was the community that made that happen. Now that the money is in place, the Native American Youth and Family Center on Northeast Columbia Boulevard will lead the effort, reaching out to find new solutions to crime and public safety issues. So we need to make sure that we set up a process that allows the community to really define what the solution is and that we just sort of set the stage with, you know, whether it's resources or partnerships to be able to uh, provide that uh, support. In fact, the next year will be about listening and then for two years more, taking what's heard and taking action. But I hope that we can really pay people for their participation and to thank them for sharing their wisdom and expertise as we try to build this out. Decrease reliance on law enforcement that has a lot of other really important work to do outside of low level crime and see what kind of innovation that we can start to grow. Now, obviously, this is the very beginning of a work in progress, so we'll see where it goes from here. But some of what may come out of this will center around support for people who are struggling to lift them out of desperation and crime. Ashley. All right, Tim, thank you.